Hi everyone, it's Jean Hansen with the Janitorial Store and I have another Janitorial Supervisor training tip for you today. And this is some of the content that I have in the Janitorial Supervisor training video series that you'll find at the Janitorial Store. I'll give you more information on this at the end of the video. So one of the things that we talk about is the qualities to look for when you're hiring a supervisor. So most of us, we go to our current employees and we promote from within typically when uh, looking for a supervisor. So a lot of the qualities that some of these people have as cleaners are very common. And a lot of the reasons why we choose them to be supervisors. They've got the cleaning skills, they're very reliable, they're super trustworthy, um, they meet any deadlines that you give them, they volunteer for extra work, they're self-starters, they're typically honest people, right? Those are the kinds of things that we look for and these people typically have those things. But what you might not be looking for are some of the additional qualities that really good supervisors really need to have if they're going to be successful at their job. And um, so here's a few of them. Communication skills is really important. We have had supervisors in our business that were great cleaners and had all those other qualities I just mentioned, but they weren't the best at communicating. Um, I know one didn't have very good writing skills and really didn't speak very well. Um, you know, so this can be a pro it can be problematic for you and for the supervisor if they want to be successful. Um, getting along with others, they need to get along with people. They need to treat everyone fairly. Um, I, you know, I'm sure you can think of examples either of people that you've hired or maybe in your past work experience where some people seem to be favored over others because they were really good buddies, right? So we want supervisors that are going to treat everyone fairly. Um, they need to have empathy and compassion. So I had a supervisor one time who was really, had all these really great qualities, but he really wasn't that good of a people person, right? And you're gonna be dealing with people every day. So you have to be good with other people and you have to have some empathy for their situation because things are gonna come up where they're not gonna be able to be to work because a child is sick or something, you know, somebody gets in an accident and we have to have empathy for these situations, have some compassion for them because it's very easy if you don't, if, if you're, you know, this particular person was a single person, didn't have a lot of family, um, didn't have a lot of responsibilities outside of his own personal responsibilities. So he didn't have a lot of understanding when these things happened. And this is important for a supervisor. Your supervisors need to be calm and rational because things will come up where, you know, people may get angry at someone and they have to be the negotiator. They've got to be the calm one in the situation. They've got to be rational. They can't let themselves get angry because another employee is angry about something. So they've got to be that calming factor in the equation, right? They have to be open to change. If you've got someone that's been doing things the same way for many years and they're not willing to make a change because a new piece of equipment has come out or you've got a new app that you want them to use for clocking in or whatever it is, um, that's going to be a challenge because your supervisors not only have to be able to accept change, but they've got to lead the change in a lot of cases because they're going to have to be participating and rolling it out to their employees, right? Um, they have to want to succeed and want to learn, they have to have some ambition, right? Um, it, you, This is an industry that's constantly changing and there's new things to learn all the time. So you want someone that's wanting to learn this kind of thing and maybe wanting to grow into another management position. So have someone that has some some goals for themselves and wants to, wants to succeed and, and learn. Um, they have to be safety conscious. Now, you know, this can be tricky with a supervisor because I've seen supervisors who have taken shortcuts um, themselves because they find a quicker way to do something, but it may not be the safest way to do it. Or maybe they didn't put their gloves on when they went in to help someone clean a restroom, or maybe they're not wearing rubber soled shoes when doing a floor, you know, these types of things. Sometimes supervisors will try to get away with things, but they have to be the advocate for safety. If they're going to enforce safety with your employees, they have to be practicing it themselves. 
And finally, you want to make sure that they have some integrity, right? Um, it kind of goes along with honesty and integrity kind of go together, but you know, make sure that um, you are thinking about all these different qualities that I just mentioned and not just the fact that they're a good cleaner um, and that they're reliable, right? <laughs> so take a look at the big picture, make a note of all the different qualities that I mentioned and make sure you add that to your list when looking for a good supervisor. So if you want more detail on this topic and many others surrounding janitorial supervisor training, be sure to check out the janitorial stores video training series that I did. This is a if you were to play them straight through, it's two and a half hours of training for your supervisors, but we've designed it to be broken up and interactive. So you can do this one-on-one -on -one with your uh, a supervisor, or you can do it in a group. Play it on um, your computer or on a TV video screen and um, be interactive. Get discussions going. Talk about these situations that they're going to run into, because this is what we do in the training series. So. Um, I will be back for another janitorial trip, so uh, tip. <laughs> so we'll see you the next time. Thanks.